the Imperial City is the capital of the continent. It was built in the shape of a wheel, and between each of its spokes are its many unique districts, all with their own distinct purpose. Almost every street has some kind of attraction, and the many jutting signs of the market district contrast nicely against the more cosy and secluded elven gardens. After a few hard days of questing and dungeoneering, we've earned some rest and relaxation in the Arboretum. Hello. It really is a beautiful city, and you could spend hours exploring every inch of its many districts, but we've been enjoying its splendour for a bit too long, and the work has dried up. It's time we bought some supplies and moved on. The market district truly does have something for everyone. There are shops for books, staffs, spells, axes, armour, jewellery, groceries, fish, houseware, scribe supplies. There's also a toy shop, a bank, a barber's and a cobbler's and of course even more than that. But we're just here for a new shield. The most sensible way out of the city is through the Talos Plaza district to the west, distinguished by its huge statue in the centre. The statue is of Akatosh, the dragon god of time, at the head of the Imperial Pantheon. The Pantheon has nine recognised gods, but Akatosh is the best. Just outside of the city is a colossal bridge, which connects the isle to the mainland. At the end of this bridge is the settlement of Wei, and from Wei, the road connects to the Red Ring, the circular highway which tours the heartlands region of the Imperial Province. From here, we can go anywhere. Cyrodiil has sandy beaches, frozen mountains, smelly swamps, and everything in between. But this time, let's go to my favourite city, Coral, which is on the far end of the Great Forest. The place should be full of quests. Cyrodiil's landscape is littered with millennia of ruins. The place is a boneyard of elven cities, abandoned mines, and long derelict forts, with some sleepy villages tucked between. Many of these places are off the beaten path, but even those who stick to the roads can't avoid the province's countless architectural scars. We passed a fort on the way up here, and we're about to pass another, Fort Ash. Pay up, or else. We're now deep into the Great Forest. It surrounds the Lake Rumere on almost all sides, and marks the border between the Heartlands and Colovia. The Colovian West is a rugged frontier of forests and highlands, quite far removed from the luxuries of the capital. But it's still just as beautiful, albeit less safe. The site of Waynon Priory means we're only a short distance away from Coral City Gates. We were tasked to deliver an amulet here months ago, maybe another time. Coral warms my heart every time I walk her streets. I don't know of any other place like it. Despite being much more rural than the Imperial City, we still have plenty of amenities. There's plenty of shops and taverns, inns and alehouses, a Mages Guild, a Fighters Guild, Rangers Guild and Brewers Guild, and a very impressive castle. Coral's sigil is of a great oak, the same one that dominates the middle of town. It's said that merchants did business in its shade long before the place was settled. I would go further off topic, but we're about to be interrupted. Hello, I don't think we've met. Are you new in town? Likewise, I'm always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. My mother owns Northern Goods and Trade in Korov. Well, chances are we'd visit their shop anyway, so why not do it now? Seed Neus doesn't really have the best stock for travellers like us. I'm sure she'll have some different items in a short while though. In the meantime, let's go on some adventures.
After a well-earned trip to the baths, let's go check in on Northern Goods and Trade and see what new stock Seed Nias has for us. I don't mean to impose, but I'm hoping you can help me. My daughter, Dama, is missing, and I don't know what to do. That's right. My daughter, Dama, never came back from Hackdirt. I'm dreadfully worried something may have happened to her. Can you help? I can't thank you enough for your kindness. She was supposed to make a delivery to a Tira Moslin in Hector, so I would start there. In case it may be useful, she was with Blossom, her horse, I mean. Dharma loves that animal and would never willingly abandon her. Well, to me, this sounds like a quest, and that's what we're here for. Let's see if we can help. Should you venture far enough in, you'll find that the Great Forest is full of secrets. There should be enough light left in the day for this trip, so let's be on our way. Just off the side of the road we took into the city is a dirt track heading south into the trees. If there is a trodden path to hack dirt, it's probably this one. Not too far into the forest is a way shrine. Way shrines of the Nine Divines can be found all over Cyrodiil, and this one is to Dabella. There are 36 shrines in total. Some of them are deep into the wilderness, but most are never too far away from the roads, like this one. They only offer moderately interesting buffs, but to begin the Knights of the Nine expansion, you need to make pilgrimage to a way shrine of each of the nine gods. You're given an in-game map with annotations, but no markers to follow on your compass. This is quite unlike almost every quest in Oblivion, and it's a refreshing change. It can take the wanderlust out of Cyrodiil when you just stare down at your compass all day, instead of taking in the game's beautiful landscapes, and plotting out your next journey with the naked eye, which makes for a much more memorable experience. Around the next corner, the path goes downhill steeply, and then takes us to the entrance of Fort Karmala. The Legion hasn't manned this one in a long time. The place is patrolled by skeletons and some wild animals, and the grass grows up to our knees, and as for what lies deeper in... Eh, maybe another time. Let's head out the back. The forest trail may end here, but the way uphill is cleared and hack dirt is right in front. There are quite a few small villages and farmsteads far off the beaten path in Cyrodiil, but this one feels... different. Half the buildings are completely destroyed, and even the village square looks abandoned. The only places of note are the inn, the church, and the general store, and behind the store is Blossom, Dharma's horse, so she definitely made it to hack dirt. And as her horse is here, she's likely still here herself. I don't know any Dharma. If you're talking about that cursed Agonian swindler from Coral, I'd like to know where she is too. That's my horse. Owned it for years. Now either buy something or get out. I'm surprised she gets any business with an attitude like that, though by the looks of this place, maybe she doesn't. She is an awful liar, and is clearly hiding something about Dharma's whereabouts. But it's late. Time to check in at the inn. The brethren are restless. We'll talk later tonight at the gathering. Yeah? There's been some terrible trouble with the chapter All of the Bella's priests priests. No! Wouldn't miss it. We'll talk later tonight at the gathering. Shh. We can't talk here. They'll get suspicious. The girl is in danger. Meet me tonight after dark in my house. I'll leave the door unlocked. Don't be late. Well, that was worrying. But we have a few hours to pass anyway, so let's get some rest at the inn. What? I guess we've got a room available. 30 gold per night, take it or leave it. 30 gold isn't so bad, and despite the... different furnishings downstairs, our room upstairs is actually quite nice. The same doesn't go for the room across from ours, though. seems that asking the wrong questions in Hack Dirt can get outsiders like us in serious trouble. The smashed room next door is likely further proof of that. Let's go over there and see if there's anything we can learn. 
In the chest of drawers is Dharma's diary. There's no doubt now that Hack Dirt and his brethren are up to no good, and that Dharma is in immediate danger. It's time we head out and meet with the man from earlier at his home. visit the church. Let's take a quick look. The place is completely empty, but still immaculate and completely uniform. It's a bit creepy, isn't it? On the lectern at the back is their religious book. Let's give it a quick read. Oh, okay. Never mind then. You came. Good. I don't have much time. I have to get to the gathering before I missed. You have to believe me. I didn't know what they were planning. They want to bring back the Deep Ones. I thought I did too, but she's so innocent. They've got her down in the caverns. They're going to sacrifice her, you understand? You've got to save her. Here, take this key. It'll open any of the trap doors down to the caves. Every house in town has one. The one in Moslin's Inn is your best bet, nearest where she's being held. Good luck. You will save her, won't you? I, I gotta go now. Well, I'll be honest, this was more than I'd bargained for, but she needs our help urgently. And if not us, who? If we want to rescue Dharma, we'll just have to trust Jiv's advice and take the trap door back at the inn into the caverns. There she is. Time to free her and get out of here. Please, let me out of here. You must help me escape. I think these creatures plan to do something horrible to me tonight. Thank you. Hurry, we need to get out of here, quick! The brethren must be gathered in the next chamber. Our job is to get Dharma home safely, but the adventurer within us wants answers. Why do they look so strange? Why the human sacrifice? They found something in these caverns, didn't they? You know what they say, curiosity killed the Khajiit. Let's just go home. Thanks for watching. Verigan now has its own Discord server. If you'd like to help me start a community of like-minded people, or you just want to hear more from me, consider joining. The invite link is in the description below. Bye.